She's really funny. She's a gal. She's real stubborn too. <laughs> it's a bright smile through the sadness for Kate Connors when talking about her close friend. That friend whose identity isn't being released at this time by family and friends was taking her usual walking route to Springville High School Tuesday morning. That's when police say she was hit while trying to cross the street here at Canyon Road and 620 South just before 7.45 a.m. I was actually messaging her this morning at about 5 a.m. It wasn't until she received a call from the victim's boyfriend, Dylan Hansen, that she found out what happened. And he said that she had been in an accident and they didn't know how bad it was. Nobody was telling him. Connor says the Springville High School senior was taken to the hospital in Provo with serious injuries. She's alive. So um, it's going to be a long road. Um, she's she's got more injuries than I can count at this point. I think every police car in town was here. Frank Wade has lived right by this intersection for almost his entire life. In that time, he says he's seen his fair share of accidents in the area. We've had four or five right here in this intersection, but the traffic goes by here. Sometimes I think they must be going 60 miles an hour. The speed limit is 35. After an incident like this, Hansen says he hopes this will cause people to pay more attention when traveling down this road. If there's a message that I could push, it'd be like pay attention and slow down, especially if, especially in residential areas, like because it, it's a very real problem. Now those closest to the victim, who they say dreams of being a welding teacher at Springville High School someday, are just hoping she pulls through. She's definitely a fighter. She's, I, I have faith she's going to get through this. She's a fighter. She's fighting real hard out there in the hospital. Well, I spoke with Springville Police Chief Lance Haight earlier today, and he says that this road is one of the more traveled roads in the town. Now, he says they haven't done a speed study in a while, but he says this incident is prompting them to take a closer look at this area. In Springville, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah. The Nebo School District also sent out a statement today saying they are saddened by the tragic news. They go on to say they have a crisis team available at the school to assist any student or faculty member.